Martin Perez on the mound tonight for the Rangers. There's a look at what he has done overall this season. It seems like the scouting report's out a little bit as he's had two hiccups in his last three starts. But either way, he is trying to finish this first half on a high note. There's a swing and a miss. And Perez strikes out Rodriguez to get us going tonight. One away. 2-2 two -two and a swing and a miss. He gets him on the fastball. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the game. Reached base safely in 13 of the 14 games he's played with them. And he lifts this one out into short right field. Coming on for it, though, is Adolis Garcia. Covered some ground at top speed and completes a 1-2-3 for Martin Perez. Yeah, we salute you as well, buddy. They will be facing off against Marco Gonzalez, who has just simply put together a phenomenal first half. Yeah, 18th start on the season. 94 and a third innings, 49 strikeouts, 32 walks. So Simeon on board, and that brings up Corey Seager, his third trip to the All-Star game. Here's a ball that's hit hard for the right field corner, and that gets down for the base hit. A two-hopper up against the wall. Watching Simeon, he hits the bag at third. He's being waved home, a late go signal. Here's the throw home. He slides, he is safe. And the Rangers take a 1-0 lead. And this ball's pounded out into left field. That'll be extra bases. Seeger scores easily. Garcia to third base. And Heim with the RBI double makes it 2 nothing Rangers. Daniel was one for three with a walk yesterday. And he hits this one on the ground. Moore is there. A run will score as they throw out low. But it's an RBI ground out. And the Rangers on top, 3 nothing. Swing and a miss. There goes Tavares, tag applied, and they got him. Strike him out, throw him out. Cal Raleigh on time, on target. That's exactly what Marco and the Mariners needed. Suarez not a real threat to be going anywhere at first. Martin looks at him anyway in the 2-2. And that is strike three called. Winker goes down looking. One away. 1-2. And that is strike three called right there at the bottom of the zone. And for Perez, his fourth strikeout tonight. Martin has walked the bases loaded. 2-2, two -two, and he got him swinging. And Martin pumped up. He strikes out the side in the third and leaves the bases loaded. Well, did it the hard way with a few walks in the inning, but no runs allowed. Three strikeouts. It'll be our first look at Alir Hernandez making his big league debut right before our very eyes. He'll lead things off here in the second. And this ball lined out to left field. That's a base hit. First big league hit for Alir Hernandez. Congratulations. Yeah, get that ball. Always a special moment for any hitter. Special moment for him. Special moment for his teammates. The crowd knows it. Everybody's excited. Well, there's the changeup grip, and he did a nice job staying on this with two strikes. He got a 2 1 changeup that he was out in front of and stayed through. So you wonder if Gonzalez was going to try to challenge him with the fastball, but he went back to that changeup. Hernandez had seen it a few times and waited on it. Now Culberson, he smashes that one out to left, and that one gets over the head of Winker. Hernandez to third. They'll stop him there on the double by Culberson. Three hits, the bases are loaded, and Corey Seeger, the dangerous hitter at the plate. And he hits this ball high in the air out to right field. Haggerty still going back. And he will now get in position to make the catch. Tagging at third, Hernandez. He scores easily on the sacrifice fly. And the Rangers lead 4-0. On the ground, right there, there, Suarez. Toro on to first base. And for the second straight inning, Marco gets out of it with the help of a double play. 3-2 pitch and a swing and a miss. Santana strikes out. Sixth strikeout for Perez tonight. Or is it 73 pitches for the night? Bases loaded, two out, 2-2. Two -two. And this one has popped up. Just behind the infield right side, and Simeon will make the catch. The inning is done, and for the second inning in a row, the Mariners leave the bases loaded. Three pitches, two outs. Here is Sam Haggerty. Into center. 
And it's beyond underneath the glove of Tavares. Haggerty can't fly. He is on his way. This might happen. He's going to third. He's getting waved home. Sam Haggerty scores on an inside the park home run. He had it the whole way. You cannot make that mistake to that batter in this ballpark. Not Sam Haggerty, who can absolutely fly. And as soon as that ball got by him in center field, I knew Sam was going to have a chance to score. And he hits this ball a ton. There, there we are, Aaron. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball. And he's off to the races once he sees it past the center fielder. He has delivered on the promise. And there is strike three called. He'll go down looking. Second time he's struck out tonight. Big inning for Martin Perez. He'll get France, Santana, and Suarez. But look at that pitch. Well, he freezes France. He gets a strikeout to start the fifth inning, and that's a season high eight strikeouts. And that is strike three called. Suarez down looking. Whoa, and Martin shushing the Mariners with his ninth strikeout tonight. And that brings up Leody Tavares, who is one for two. Ooh, this one shot to the right side base hit for Leody Tavares his second hit of the game he gets Heim to the plate and the Rangers lead five to one can the Mariners finally cash in with the bases loaded lined out to left field base hit Haggerty scores Julio is coming home he strides to the plate and scores standing a Eugenio Suarez puts two across. It's a two out two run single and the Mariners put a dent in that Rangers lead 5 3 Texas in the seventh Mariners trying to extend their winning streak to 11 games and the Mariners have them loaded again this time Julio it hits him hits Julio at 97 he's saying come on home Frazier scores from third it's a one run game in the eighth inning the go ahead run is at second. Into left field. Toro's coming home to tie. Here is Haggerty. He pedals home. Haggerty slides. Ty France. He strikes again. You need a clutch hit. Call Ty France. It's a 6 5 Mariners lead in the eighth inning. Mariners trying to win their 11th in a row. It would mark 19 of 22. Routine fly ball. Winker, he's calling everybody off. He makes the catch, and the Mariners have secured the second longest winning streak in franchise history.